This is a preview from one of our hair color master classes. The screen on the left is the after color. The screen on the right is us giving her a bleach touch up. Click the subscribe button and the bell and let's get into this. We begin by pre-treating her hair before the bleach touch up. We add bond protectors and bond multipliers. We begin with the Joico Defy Damage Pro 1 series product. It's a spray. You spray it on dry hair before you do the bleach touch up. It's a bond protecting, color optimizing spray. Step one, it's an ultra dry bond protector that instantly helps shield the hair from chemical service damage. It's a two part treatment. Part two, you apply to the hair after you've rinsed or shampooed the hair color off. I'll go deeper into this later in the video when we use it. I begin by sectioning the hair into the classic five panel sections. You have the nape area, you have the back section, you have the top or crown area, you have the bang section or the fringe section, and you have the two right and left side panels. I section the hair for control and to make sure that I've covered the hair uh, sufficiently that I've outlined each section to make sure that all the hair will be bleached evenly. I superficially apply the bleach to the nape area. I'm going to have to pay special attention to that area and we'll go deeper into that later in the video. But for now, let's talk about the bond multipliers that I added to the bleach formula. You'll hear me all talking about the uh, professional use only Olaplex bond multiplier system. It's two parts. I added part number one, the bond multiplier directly to the bleach formula. You can just read the instructions uh, in the Olaplex box and it will walk you through it. What you need to look for is the name, the term, the ingredient, bis aminopropyl diglycol dimylate. It's the only ingredient I know that will actually rebuild, restore the disulfide bonds. It's a two part series. Part two is a bond protector and you apply that, that part, that product uh, number two after you finish the hair color process, after you've shampooed or rinsed out the toner, the hair color or the bleach, then you apply the Olaplex number two bond perfector. It's a two part system and they work together. You have to use both products for the uh, treatment to work. You can also use the Olaplex treatment as a standalone treatment to rebuild the disulfide bonds that have been broken during bleach, keratin, and relaxers. Oh, and you can also use the Olaplex treatment number one and two to rebuild the disulfide bonds that have been broken due to excessive heat. So if you're a natural girl and you get a silk press and the ends have become stringy and straight, all you have to do is get a series of the Olaplex a rebonding treatment. You can get maybe, you can get more than one treatment in the same day. You can get up to three treatments in the same day. We go deeper into this in our hair color masterclass. Come visit us on our platform at beautywellnesshaircare.com. Back to our model. You can see that I'm applying the bleach directly to the new growth. I'm trying to avoid the hair beyond the new growth, even though the bleach is going to oxidize throughout the process and it's going to swell and it's going to overlap. It's going to get on some of the hair that's already been bleached, but we've got that cover because we use the Joico Defy Damage uh, Pro Protector, that spray on, that spray on bond protector. It protects her hair from any chemical damage. It's almost like putting clear fingernail polish over the hair that's already been bleached. She has about a three-fourths to an inch of new growth. I'm applying the bleach product in with two techniques. One is pat-pat on the upper side and underside flip. The other is straight across. I take the tip of the brush, whether it's a brush or a brush, and I drag it across the entire section. I alternate this application technique throughout the head. Sometimes it's a tap tap and sometimes I drag it across the entire section. Sometimes I make a boo-boo and I get it on hair that I don't want to. You simply take a towel, a paper towel, or a cotton towel, and you wipe the bleach product off of the hair. I use one eighth to one half inch partings. The thicker the hair, the denser the hair, the more hair per square inch, the thinner the slices you make. The thinner the hair, the wider the slices you can make. But don't go beyond one half inch slice for the bleach application. 
when you have coily, thick, curly hair, it's easy to miss a section, right? And you can find that your bleach, uh, your bleach will end up uneven and splotchy, right? You'll have a nice lift in one area and splotches in another. To avoid that, you want to use this brush. Now, the bleaching process is an alkali process. It causes the hair to swell and it makes the hair extremely fragile. So I always use these silicone tipped applicators when I'm doing the bleach and the bleach toner. Why? Because I want to protect the hair. The hair is so fragile. It's so easy to stretch and break during the lifting process that you want to be as gentle as, pro- as possible. So I always use these silicone tip brushes and you can buy them on our platform at beautywellnesshaircare.com. We got you covered. Everything you need to achieve beautiful, healthy, blonde hair color and beyond. We can help you with texture control. We can t- help you with... Um, hair cutting. We have videos that you can buy and learn all of these techniques. At Beauty Wellness Hair Care, we focus on textured hair that's curly, coily, kinky, zinky, thick, thin, long, short, Our focus is the uh, hair color levels one through five. Those are the eumelanin pigments. And the eumelanin pigments are what we're eliminating during this bleach touch-up. There are two primary pigments we deal with in hair care. There is the eumelanin pigments, that's for natural hair color levels five and below, and the pheo or faux melanins, that's for natural hair colors level five and above. We're dealing with the eumelanins and the melanins, the pigments, they're located in the cortex level. You have to get beyond the cuticle levels. That's why the bleach causes the hair to swell and the bleach product can get into the cortex layer where the pigments reside. Let's go deeper. Check out this video. We magnified the hair strand and went inside to the molecular level. The surface is protected by scales. Each scale is made of a series of flat cells piled five or six deep to form an envelope that protects the hair from damage. Under this protective coating, we can see a rough interior. We have now reached the heart of the hair. Long shapes placed side by side are made up of keratin. Every cell contains several of these keratin tubes. The black spot is a pigment called melanin. Melanin is responsible for the color of hair. The small white spots were caused when the hair was prepared for the microscope. The black groove in the form of a Y marks the separation between three cells. Those rounded shapes inside each cell are spheres of protein fibers. The white flecks inside these spheres are made up of keratin rolled in a spiral. That was a hair strand magnified over a thousand times so that we can see into the individual hair strand to the molecular level where we could see the pigments and the keratin bundles. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. When we're doing any chemical process to the hair, it's important that we understand biologically the structure of hair and chemically how we're affecting the hair strand. The purpose of us bleaching her hair is to eliminate the natural pigments. And in order for that to happen, we have to swell the cuticle layer. The bleaching agent, the bleach product has an alkaline base. And that alkali causes the cuticle layers to swell where the uh, product, the bleaching agent can actually get into that cortex layer where the pigments are and it oxidizes the color out of the pigment cells. Now the pigment cells, they don't actually go away. What, what happens is the bleach oxidizes the color out of the cells. When all of the pigment is out of the hair, the hair isn't white, the hair is yellow. And actually the hair isn't yellow, the hair is clear and it's the keratin bundles, it's the keratin fibers that are yellow and they reflect through the uh, keratin shield, the, car- uh, <laughs> the cuticle layer is a keratin shield. There are two types of keratin. There's a keratin on the outside of the hair uh, at the cuticle layer, and there's another type of keratin on the inside of the hair. And what really differentiates them is the pattern in which the keratin bundles are laid out. Sometimes the keratin bundles are vertical, and on the exterior of the hair, on the cuticle layers, the uh, keratin bundles are horizontal. And that's important to know because different bonding treatments work on different layers of the hair strand. Some treatments are better for the um, bonding on the cuticle layers and some of the treatments go deeper into the disulfide bonds within the cortex layer. 
I'm using two bonding treatments. One was a spray-on dry protectant to protect the hair that was previously bleached because the bleach is going to expand as it oxidizes, it swells, and it's going to spread. So that Joyco Pro Series number one, that spray-on, that protects the hair that was already uh, bleach. And you can use that for all chemical treatments. You can use it to protect the hair for a bleach touch-up, a hair color touch-up, or a relaxer touch-up. It's a two-item treatment. It's a part one and a part two. Part two is a hair color bond strengthening treatment. You apply that uh, pro series number two after you've rinsed or shampooed the hair color toner bleach out of the hair. The second bond multiplier bond protector I used was the Olaplex bond multiplier and bond perfecter number one and two. Do you get what's really going on when we go into this hair color hair bleach thing? Look at this animation. In order to eliminate the pigments in the cortex layer, the bleaching agent has to penetrate the cuticle layers. The epicuticle layer, then you have the exocuticle layer, and you have the endocuticle layer. The alkali causes the cuticle layers to swell, and the bleaching product can enter into the cortex layer where the pigments reside. And what the bleaching agent does is it oxidizes the color out of the pigment cells. The cells don't actually go away, but the color is eliminated. It's the bleach product, the developer, and oxygen that eliminates the pigments in our hair during the bleaching process. Now, the entire process should take no more than 60 minutes. The longer you leave the bleach on, the slower the lifting action is. The bleach lifting action, it slows down over time. When you first mix the bleach, it's most active, it's most potent, and you will get the most lift. As you go throughout the uh, bleaching process, the bleach itself will lose momentum. It will lose bleaching lift. And at one hour, the bleach will completely stop. Or whenever you see the hair, um, the bleach on the hair dry and flaky, that means it stopped working. Whenever the bleach dries, it's no longer working. Sometimes the bleach will dry around the perimeter around the hairline first, and I will spray it with a little deionized water to keep it moist. As long as the bleach is moist, it will continue to work and it will stop working at 60 minutes. Modern bleaches have built-in bond protectors, and they will also give you up to nine levels of lift. And because they give you up to nine levels of lift, you do not need to use a hair dryer or a heat lamp to achieve your desired lift. One of the best things of going to a professional salon is the water pressure. The professional nozzles on our uh, on our hoses has a has an incredible pressure per ounce rate. That means the uh, it rinses really strong, really fast, and it will get all the chemicals out. That's what it means. When I tried to do my hair at home, even though I thought I had good pressure, it was not strong enough to rinse the chemical out of my hair. You need to have a professional strength um, holes to rinse the chemical out of the hair thoroughly. I always shampoo caustic chemicals out of the hair. If it's a relaxer, if it's a cold wave, if it's a bleach, if it's a permanent hair color, anything that goes into the cortex layer, I always shampoo out to make sure the chemical action is stopped. Because the bleach product is an alkali product, I have to normalize and neutralize the hair during the shampoo process. I love to use this B3 Brazilian Bond Builder Color Care Shampoo. Now this shampoo is good for all hair. What it does is it cleans the hair thoroughly without stripping. It has no sulfates. Tip number one, pat the hair dry. Do not rub the hair to dry it. What you want to do is allow the the towel to absorb the water. You don't want to rough up the cuticle layers. You want to keep the cuticle layer smooth. You want to absorb as much water as possible. We're going to go in with the Olaplex treatment number two, the Bond Perfector. So you don't want too much water in the hair when you apply the Bond Perfector because that will dilute the product. So you want to absorb as much moisture from the hair by allowing the towel to absorb the water. And then you go in with your hands and you liberally apply the um, 
bond multiplier bond perfecter number two. I told you that Olaplex treatment is a two-part treatment and they don't sell this product at Sally's or Alta. This is a professional only product. It's the only thing only professional product I know that really multiplies the disulfide bonds. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave this product number two on the hair for 10 minutes. And after that, I'm going to rinse the Olaplex number two, the bond perfecter, with cool water. You don't want to rinse with hot water. You want to rinse the Olaplex number two bond perfecter with cool water. Cool water rehardens the bond. Hot water breaks bond. Now this bond multipliers, it actually does multiply the disulfide bonds and it could leave the hair super rough and wiry. So I always go in with the Joy Code to Five Damage Pro Series number two. It's a bond strengthening color treatment. It makes the hair so silky after the uh, Olaplex treatment. It is a creamy treatment that's thick and luscious. It's a bond strengthening color treatment. It's an intense treatment that helps strengthen bonds and hydrate the hair for damage resistant, healthy looking hair in just one use. It uh, regenerates the bonds. It protects the hair from mechanical, thermal, and environmental damage. Keratin is one of the key ingredients. If you're one of those natural coily girls that likes to shampoo and go, this is the only leave-in you'll need. The uh, Joyco Age Defy product number two. You can just leave a bit of that in your hair with water and your hair will be so soft and so coily and you won't need any foam, you won't need any gel, you won't need any silicone. It's amazing. Click the subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified when our next video drops. In our next video, we're going to show you the hair color toner that takes her to this beautiful violet blonde hair color. Now, I dried her with this liquid, liquid reconstructor on her hair. I dried her under an ionic hair dryer. And this is how her hair looks after it's dried. Look how thick and healthy and luscious her hair is. And we got that way by adding all of the bond multipliers and the bond perfectors all along the process. Now that her hair is dry, I'm gonna saturate it with our Nourishing Lipid Serum. Remember I told you when we go in to eliminate the pigments, we also eliminate the natural lipids. We have natural lipids in our hair that resides within the hair strand. And when you go in there with the bleach, not only do you eliminate um, pigments, but you also eliminate lipids and the uh, disulfide, many types of bonds. And that's why we have to protect and multiply the bonds all along the process. And we finish by saturating the hair with our nourishing lipid serum. After we go in and section the hair, then we're going to apply the hair color toner. When you're dealing with you melanin and you melanated pigment hair that's natural hair color levels five and below you always have to double process you sometimes have to triple process bleaching is process number one and toning is process number two and this is her hair finished isn't this amazing her hair is so silky it's so sophisticated it's so elevated this hairstyle and this hair color would go good on all skin tones from palest pale to darkest dark. It's the contrast and the health of the hair that makes it all pop. You'll find out in our next video why I'm applying the toner directly to that new growth first. A major hair color tip I'll share with you is when you're dealing with eumelanated hair, you want to apply the toner to dry hair and you want to use, um, you want to use demi permanent hair colors. You don't want to use traditional toners like those Wella T8s and those Redkins. No, 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 no. Those toners were formulated for natural hair color levels five and above for those Nordic clients, for those clients who have light brown to blonde hair and they don't have any eumelanin, pro, uh, eumelanin pigments in their hair. So the toners for those hair color clients are not saturated enough for your eumelanated clients, for your cultural clients, your level five and below. I'm going to say that one more time. The typical toners that they push those 
T11s by Wellis and those Redken hair colors, they're okay if the hair color, the natural hair color is five and above. But if you're dealing with U melanin pigments, you have to use demi permanent hair color as a toner because they're saturated enough to kill the red orange. I sent her home with our uh, B3 Color Care shampoo, conditioner, and mask. They help protect the color. They won't strip the color off of the hair strand. Come visit us on our platform. We have all of the tools and the products that we use in our videos there. And you can buy them at beautywellnesshaircare.com.